Yo buddies, what is up? Welcome back, Beaker here, and today we're doing something special. If you look at my camps right now, you'll see we got some normal, boring, go-wipe troops with a couple of healers. Ladies, what's up? How you doing? Well, those ladies are going to help us with another lady known as the Archer Queen. And we're going to do kind of a Super Queen go-wipe raid today. So, I'm not the first person to do this in any way, but this is the first, first time I've done this. So guys, check it out. All you got to do to control your Archer Queen, you might, you might be saying, like, how are you going to control the Archer Queen? All you got to do is just have a real intimate relationship with her. You got to spend time with her. You got to take her out, buy her things. And then when you're in the raid like this, you got to keep your eye on her. Keep your eye on her. When that health bar gets all the way down into the red, boom, activate the Archer Queen ability. Don't let her die. Girl, I would do anything for you. Even activate the Archer Queen ability within the first 20 seconds. Do anything. So, we really have to keep her alive. There's no other option. If she dies, we die. We suck. We're going to look like idiots. And this guy's going to share this to his clanmates and be like, Yeah, look at this beaker guy. He's a joke. So, we're not going to be a joke today because we're actually doing really well. So, when the Archer Queen's health gets down again, what are we going to do? Wait for it. Rage Spell. Rage Spell, that's right. So, wow, she was almost dead there. Almost dead. But we pulled it back from the brink of death, and now we're good. The Rage Spell on the healers, getting them moving faster, and now we put the golems down. The golems are down, they're going to tank for everybody, and we're so good now. We're just one big happy family, and we're going to go into the base and get this town hall. Now, this is this is really the easy part, you know. The beginning was the hard part, and now I can throw down my king, a couple of Pegas, the wizards, and the golems. They're going to take this so easily because I have a jump spell going to lead us right into the core. Notice this base also did not have... Um, What's the word? Heroes. This base does not have heroes awake, nor did it have clan castle. So I was lucky in that regard. But this was the first raid I've ever done with this strategy. So I wanted to take on an easy base. I also wanted to take on a base that looked like an anti three star style base. You know, this wasn't a total anti three star base, but it, it sort of looked like one. It had the same look. So I think this was a perfect target to start out on. I enjoyed it. So what's up now, guys? What's up now? So. I, of course, intended this to be an, uh, a three-star strategy in some ways. How are we doing? Well, we got pretty close. You know, we're at 70% right now. Queen is almost dead, but I'd say we did pretty good. I mean, this definitely has potential to be a three-star attack. We got a golem over there. He's doing nothing. If he was, you know, in the middle tanking and there were a couple more wizards alive, we could have had this. We could have had this. You're always going to need a little bit of luck when you're talking about getting a three-star with ground troops. But we were pretty close. I mean, look at this. We're at 80% already. I think we're going to get all the way up to 90%. The queen is almost all the way back where she started. Think about where she started over there in the bottom left of the corner. Bottom left corner of the base, I meant to say. You know what I meant. Anyways, guys. Look, we still got a golem who is... Oh, uh, he just split into two. But he he's in good health. What's up, golem? You did great. You did great, buddy. I'm so proud of you. So... Everybody did great this raid, especially the queen. Love you, girl. You guys, you really have to just watch the queen, like I was saying. Be be right on top of her. Be real close with her. And just know, you kind of got to have a feel for when she's going to die. And, and don't let her die. Use the Arch Queen ability. And then if she's going to die again, use a Rage Spell on the healers. That is, of course, if you guys are even going to use this strategy. I'm not saying you should. This is kind of just me messing around right now, obviously. I thought this might be fun, and I also wanted to practice, I kind of wanted to practice the, the Super Queen part of this raid, because it's a popular three-star strategy right now. You do this, and then you do balloons. You guys know that. Balloons and uh, hounds. That's what they're called. I'm freaking dumb today. Anyway, back to the action. What's up, Queen? You are looking great today, by the way. Full health, almost. Doing really well. Only one cannon shooting her now, though. Any minute now. She's going to go down in health real fast. So now she's got an expo, two cannons, everybody's shooting her. Okay, what are you going to do? What's the game plan here, Queen? I think we're going to have to drop a Rage Ball here pretty soon. Uh, buddies, there we go. Okay, Rage on the Queen, on the healers. It's most important to get them on the healers, I'm assuming. But what do I know? I'm, I'm a noob. I don't know. Anyway, it seems to be working pretty well. Queen, uh, Archer healers are somehow out of range of that uh, air defense right there. 
I thought they would be getting shot right there, but they're not. And so we're moving over to the right. So that's where we're going to go into the base. Dropping the three golems. What's up, golems? And a couple of wizards behind. There we go. Now we're going to wallbreaker in and use everybody else. Everything else. Let's go, buddies. Let's get in this base. So with a jump spell, we can basically, again, just like the last raid, get right into the core. And then that's it. Notice before we even start the the raid before we even drop all the rest of our troops we're already at 30 to 40 percent you know somewhere in there so how are you going to fail on a raid like this how are you going to fail if you already have 30 say 35 percent before you even drop your golems you're always going to get at least one star and probably two stars because look at this you know we've already cleared so much of the base there's not going to be as many distractions your troops are just going to boom go right into the core and hopefully wreck the base so guys i'm pretty stoked on this um like i said earlier i am in no way the inventor of this but i think this is something i'm gonna try i think it's something i'm gonna try in clan wars and i might look like a total idiot when i do it but i might look like the man for once you know i very rarely look just awesome in clan wars it's usually you know i, I either completely fail or i get like a 98 percent and in either way you look like an idiot it's like Oh, boy. Your clanmates say good job, but they don't really mean it. You, you guys know what I mean. So, here we go. We're almost finished. We got the king being healed a little bit by one healer. Most of the other healers died. That's going to happen. Unless you got a little bit of luck and, you know, the perfect base to attack, your healers are going to go down eventually. And, uh, that's it. But, you know, we got a huge two-star here. Again, kind of an easier base. This guy had no clan castle. He had no heroes. But still, you know, we got we got 75% almost here. We took out three quarters of this base pretty easily, you know? There, So I think even with heroes, even with clan castle, we're going to destroy bases with this. I hope. Like I said, or I'll look like an idiot. You guys will be there for the ride <laughs> no matter what. Uh, I'll show you guys more, more of these attacks in the future, especially if I do it in clan wars. I think that would be... I think that would be the best test of this to see if it actually could possibly get three stars. So anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for joining us on this experimental Archer Queen ride. Remember, keep your Archer Queen close. Treat her well, and she'll treat you well. You guys know what I mean, right? You're old enough to know what I'm talking about. Take care of your ladies. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave me a comment below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.